deep breath. Hold it. Feel this vibration of the golden pineal waking up your truth. Satnam, everybody. I just wanted to pop on here and give you some love. Tell you a little bit about September. Invite the goddesses of GDF into a very, very awesome opportunity, the Modern Priestess. So this month is being cradled with some really huge opportunities right now. So um, one of the biggest one is Mars going retrograde. It does a lot of really wonderful things. The one thing it does is it helps us question our ego. It actually um, gives us more of a nine, 15 second delay because we literally do not have the energy to push so much. Depending on where your Aries is at, you see that play, play out. It's a great thing because all of us have parts of our egos that misbehave. And right now you might not have the energy to do that. And in that, you will be able to look at it from a more detached way and make some adjustments so that the ego works with the heart. We are not in Kundalini Yoga ever going to bypass being human, the householder, having a mind. But there is huge cosmic action this month and through the end of the year. This month, we're going to come up on the equinox. This is when the light of the day and night come into balance. Everything in nature invites you into balance, right? It invites you into a solstice, a brighter or a darker night. This time of year is about harvest. 2020. Looking back on this year with 2020 vision, I think that's a new vision, actually. I think that's what this year has been all about, to get us to not look so much at the media, to get us to not look so much at Instagram for truth, and instead know a direct prayer, a simple silence, is where you're going to get the information you're needing to carry on, to thrive, to help others. So we are still in Virgo and in these last days of Virgo, it is in what we call the mastery level. And Virgo is all about what are we becoming? What are we becoming? And then we're going to go into Libra, right? When that equinox happens, the equinox affords more energy because of the way the sun hits the um the earth. So we're going to have this new moon this week on Thursday and then bam, next Tuesday we're going to have the equinox. We'll be doing a nice, wonderful thing on Wednesday night of next week. But the equinox is a booster shot of soul information. It's, it's the healing energy beyond knowledge that can help you heal and rise up, help you find the words. What's really being worked on right now for many of us is the throat chakra. Throat chakra is also listening. It's about communication. Are we hearing and are we dis disseminating our needs, our truths, our love in a way that can be heard and can be um, sustainable? I am so excited about this end of the year. I know it's going to get, I don't think it's going to get really as violent as parts of it has been, but we are going to feel more about what's going on and what our part is in it. And that can be scary, sad. We need, a lot of us that haven't had really any reaction this year, you know, some sadness, the depression may come up and we may finally feel where it is we need to be healed and move forward. I planned it this way, that the modern priestess would start on this Sunday. So it's right between the new moon and the equinox. Go on the event page and see it. It's amazing. It's like three workshops, two privates with me, two moon circles, discussions every week, texts and pep talks for me um, on your phone to you personally, understanding which chakras are working for you and which ones represent your wounded energy, all kinds of stuff. I think I said a couple of privates with me. Um, Monday morning meditation together. 
And I did it so that it would start in Virgo, move through Libra, and end in the witchy magic of Scorpio. I have made a secondary video, and this is going to be just for you to use now. It's to enhance your intuition. This is one of the most important things with the chaos and the many narratives outside us. We have to have strong access to our beautiful intuition. So tune in to that. And I hope to see you at the Modern Priestess. It begins on Sunday. I have room, I think, for five more. We're only going to have 13 so that all of you get personal loving attention. Satnam. See you soon. Oh, also... I'm going to keep my classes in the park on Tuesday and Saturday morning. So we're trying to accommodate all the different needs. Some people really need to come to the studio and be with people. Some people really need the park and some people really need online. So that's why we're making sure at GDF, Mahan Rajkar and Singh, that you get a little bit of all of it. Satnam. Love and light.